guys, what's up? Today we're going to take a look at the Pac-Man ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S2 GDI9100. I'm going to teach you guys how to install it, so stay tuned for that. Hi again, so first things first, we've got to of course download the Pac-Man ROM and it's roughly about 100 and... 50, sorry, 140 megabytes, and of course, we've got to download the G apps too. So, make sure you've got a micro USB cable connected to your computer. And the next step you have to do is to connect it to your phone, simple as that. So, once it's connected, we've got to select both files, which is the ROM, the Pac Man ROM. And for you guys out there, I'm using the Milestone, one of the latest versions, the Milestone version. And um, we're going to copy both these files, the ROM and the G apps. If it's very important, you can copy it to your internal uh, storage or to your SD card. I'm going to, I'm going to copy it to the SD card as that's where I always usually copy my ROM files to. So I'll be back once it's done copying. So once the files have been copied to the SD card, all you have to do is to remove the micro USB, of course. Uh, put that aside up there and we're going to switch off the phone. So we're going to power off. And of course, we have to boot into recovery mode as we're going to be installing the ROM uh, via recovery mode. So once it's fully off, we press volume up, home button and power button all at once for 10 seconds or so. And your boot screen should flash twice. So that's the first uh, flash. And then we're going to get the second flash. Any second now. And at this point, you can let go. And we're going to head into recovery mode. As you can see, it's the Doryman X kernel. And we're going to do a Y beta factory reset. It's very important. So because we're coming from a different ROM and a different uh, platform, it might mess up. So yeah, make sure you, you do a backup of all your files and data prior to doing that. So do a wipe cache partition too. Yes, I like to do a wipe cache. And we're going to install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. And we're going to look for uh, the Pac-Man. There it is. Yes, I would like to install. So once it's done installing, I'll be back and I'll continue the guide. So give this a few minutes and be patient, guys. So that roughly took about a minute, which is pretty fast. Again, it's only 140 megabytes in size. So once that's done, we've got to install G-App. So we have to head back to the menu, or I believe this is the same menu as we left it a while ago. So choose zip from SD card, and we're gonna look for G apps. Make sure you download the right G apps package. Uh, some are not of, you know compatible with the version. This is 4.2.2 by the way. So we're going to install it. This will probably take a few seconds only as the package, I believe, is about um, 90 megabytes. So everything is finally done. And before you boot, make sure you do a wipe data factory reset once again, just to be sure. I don't want, you know, I don't want the ROM messing up your, your system, your phone. Do a wipe cache partition again. And once it's done, we're going to head over to the, to the advanced menu and do a wipe Delvic cache. And if you want, if you really wish, you can do fix permissions, but it's not really needed. Go back and reboot. And this is going to be the first or the initial boot. So give it some time to boot up. So give it a few minutes. And once it's done booting up, I'll be back to share the, set, the startup or the setup uh, sequence. Oh, and check that out guys, that is the <laughs> the animated boot up sequence for the Pac-Man ROM, which is kind of cool. So it took roughly 3 to 4 minutes to do the first boot up, so we're, gonna, we're here at the welcome or the setup screen, so we're going to select start. Yep, we don't have a SIM card, and as you can see it's got this vanilla Android um, um, user, inter user experience. And next, yep. And we're going to select next, next again, and okay, and finish. And we should be done. And there we go. We got the Pac-Man ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S2 GDI9100. And as you can see, it's got a different launcher. 
and we've got uh, some of course additional items with this ROM such as a paranoid Android uh, settings and we got I would yeah that's roughly about it and we've got of course we can change we've got pie settings as you can see I'm trying to pull up the notification um, list and we also have the ability to change the DPI and the user interface again this is due to the paranoid Android so stay tuned for the review for the Pac-Man ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S2 GDI9100 it will be probably up in a week's time in the meantime don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe to Wired Mash as it definitely helps us a lot and don't forget to visit wiredmash.com and most of all thanks for watching